Have you said yes to see yet? Well, stay with me while I review the latest fragrance from Giorgio Armani, the new C Passione. Hi, welcome to Ellie Smells, and today I'm going to be reviewing the latest fragrance from Giorgio Armani, which is the C Passione. And C in Italian means yes, and Passione is for passion. And as you see from the bottle, it's a lovely lacquered red. And the red colour is actually from his lipstick, which is the 400 Red, which was created to suit every uh, woman's skin tone. So it's in the same chunky style as the original bottle, but that's really where it ends. This fragrance is classed as a fruity floral, and I'm going to spray it now. I have tried it, and several of the girls at work have tried it and absolutely love it. So I think Mr. Armani wanted to create something that made women feel really confident, sexy, successful, but still keeping that femininity and that grace, which I think is why Kate Blanchett is such a good um, model for this particular fragrance. And I do know that she's worn a lot of his couture items as well. So when you first spray this, it's quite sweet. And that's because in the top notes, you've got a syrupy liqueur de cassis, which is black currant. And then you've got a lovely luscious pear, but then you've got a kick of something. And I think that's because you've got like that pink pepper in the top notes. But still, the fragrance is really, really feminine. And I think that's because in your heart notes of this particular fragrance, you've got May Rose Absolute with Red Rose and then you have Heliotrope, which is quite an addictive, powdery essence. And then it's kept really feminine with um, jasmine also added in there. So you've got something that's very sweet, feminine, and addictive so far. And then the base notes, which make it last on the skin, which give it the depth and the personality. You've got cedarwood, patchouli, and then you've got that real sweetness, which just seems to pull everything together of the vanilla. And I can imagine that it's going to project really well. It's going to last on the skin. It's going to give you that lovely, wonderful, subtle waft rather than something that's very overpowering. So I think this is definitely one which you could wear at any time of the year, any time of the day. It's like that swipe of red lipstick that just makes you feel really, really confident and secure and sort of like passionate. So I think that's definitely one to sort of like go and try, especially if you're a lover of the original C, which was first created in 2013. By the way, the noses for these particular fragrance um, is Julie Messe, who actually worked along with Christine Nagel on the original one. So the original one was the Chiffre fragrance, which was created by Giorgio Armani, because I believe a family member used to wear um, a Chiffre fragrance, but this is his sort of like real modern twist on updating it. So again, this one has the liqueur de cassis, the black currant in it, vanilla, and then it has like a musky, uh, oak mossy base note to it. So these are really popular fragrances and that one is just a beautiful update. So with Mother's Day around the corner, why not go and try this out for yourself or maybe for that special lady? Especially if you like the fragrances such as the original C, the Pacaraban Olympia, um, Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium, the Poison Girl, and any of the other sort of vanilla -y fragrances, some of the Tom Fords, like the um, Velvet Orchid, and even fragrances which contain sort of like the Rose and Jasmine, such as the Mademoiselle, and also the Miss Dior Cherie, which was also, well, it's now actually just Miss Dior EDP, they dropped the Cherie, but that was also created by uh, Christina Nagal as well. So, put that red lipstick on, go into store, and as you will see from the graphics here, I think they are going to be bringing out um, a gift with purchase initially here in the UK, which is going to be like a lovely little cosmetic bag, as well as a small fragrance of the sea itself. So go and try, definitely one to watch. I'm just gonna have a cheeky spray because 
I really like this one. My favourite of all of the seas, they brought out a limited edition at Christmas which was called the Sea Nacra, which when you actually sprayed it on you, gave you like a really lovely glittery pearlescent sort of like um, sheen to your clothes and around your neck. But really ladies, always remember, unlike me, don't put your fragrance on on top of your jewellery, spray your fragrance first. But anyway, that's it from me today. But go and try this, let me know your comments, let me know what you think, whether you prefer the original C or if you're loving this one. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell to get all the alerts on the new ones that we've got coming up. So take care for now and enjoy your day. See you soon on Any Smiles. Bye for now.